Hello, and welcome to another This Month in Datadog. As always, we'll update you on the latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This month, we'll update you on new synthetic monitoring features, show you how to slow attackers with ASM Protect, help you optimize your serverless functions with cold start tracing, and put the spotlight on the all new heat map visualization. Before we get started, I want to let you know about a new major version of GuardDog, version 1.0. GuardDog is an open source tool that allows you to identify malicious packages. New in this version is the ability to scan MPM packages, integrate with GitHub code scanning and CI, and verify PyPI package integrity. Learn more at the link below. And now, this month in Datadog. ASM Protect. You may already know that Datadog Application Security Management, or ASM, has the ability to alert you when someone is mounting an attack or exploiting a vulnerability. ASM Threat Detection shows you attack flow patterns, identifies offending IP addresses and authenticated users, and lets you deep dive into highly relevant events, logs, and traces, so you can respond and secure your services with ease. We're excited to bring you ASM Protect, which extends these capabilities to include blocking both IP addresses and authenticated users temporarily or permanently directly from security signals in the Datadog UI. Powerful new synthetic monitoring features. These new features give you even more flexibility to view, visualize, and edit your test results. You can now view all your test run results within the Synthetic Test Result Explorer, visualize synthetic test runs and CI batches in notebook and dashboard widgets, and add, remove, and update tags for a group of tests all at once. Cold start tracing. Serverless developers are undoubtedly familiar with the challenge of cold starts. Datadog serverless monitoring already detects cold starts in Lambda functions, visualizes their impact on services through distributed traces, and allows you to create alerts based on the rate they occur. Now, we're pleased to announce that we are further helping developers visualize, understand, and mitigate cold starts with cold start tracing via Datadog serverless API. Cold start tracing helps you identify root causes behind cold starts and provides actionable insights that you can use to improve your function's underlying code to optimize performance and reduce costs. And that was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a complete roundup, visit the link shown. This month in the spotlight, I'd like to introduce product manager Jamie Milstein to tell you about an exciting new visualization in RUM, heat maps. Making digital experiences user-friendly is key, but it's also hard. It requires analyzing how users engage with these apps to understand what works and what does not to reach that perfect end user experience. It's not just one team responsible for this, it requires cross-team efforts amongst developers, product managers, and designers. Datadog is breaking down these silos with heat maps, a visual way to track click activity across all of your web pages. By displaying all click actions in a visual manner, Teams across your organization can have the same view into these user trends, but also track what's important to them. Front-end engineering teams can track elements, generating excessive frustration signals to determine high-priority issues to tackle first. Product managers can determine if your end users are interacting with key call to actions. Designers can see what the high touch points are on an application and identify distracting content, inhibiting users from finding their North Star goal. Let's check out a demo. You can visualize at a glance all click actions on the page via the hotspots in Visual itself. By clicking into any particular element, you get more context about that element, like if any frustration signals were detected, and can automatically build a funnel to track conversion. If we go back to the heat map, you'll notice it shows us macro level trends about where users are clicking on the application. This is a great starting point to drill down into more granular information about each action on the page. Heat maps and session replay are tightly coupled together, allowing you to pivot down to individual user sessions in one click. For example, from this view, I can pivot to related replays from the click on checkout action on the cart page. This allows me to learn what users did throughout their journey, which can be beneficial for many different use cases. To reproduce an error that got reported on the checkout action, to track if certain advertisements on the page may have influenced the purchase behavior, to understand the series of steps users took to get to the North Star goal, and if it fits into the desired onboarding flow. 
Now, you might be wondering how people can extract meaningful insights from heat maps. Imagine a product manager who doesn't have to write any query, doesn't have to request help from an engineer. Looking at a heat map to discover people not purchasing because the coupon code was distracting and they couldn't ultimately find the checkout button. The product manager can then take immediate action and schedule a redesign of these components, perhaps even a simple color change, to reduce friction at a critical step of the golden user path. Heatmaps is currently in a public beta. To get started right away, click Heatmaps under UX monitoring in the Datadog app. For more information, visit the link shown on the screen. Thanks, Jamie. And that wraps up this month's episode. If you're interested in anything you saw today, you can click on the links provided in the description. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.